Hello, 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 my lovely YouTube audience. Now, I'm turning myself around because there are children using the local park for stuff with the school, and I don't want to film any of them by accident, because then we have to get the parents' permission and all that nonsense. So, I am out in my local park, which you have seen me in plenty of times, and I have brought the Simplex with me. The purpose of today's video is to look at the SP28, which is the stop coil, versus the SP24. Uh, I have um, somebody on one of the forums that has an SP24. They've put it on and they were having a heck of a time. They couldn't find stuff. The stock coil was finding coins and all they were digging up was cans and rubbish. Now everybody that I know, now I've put a poll out on this forum to find out you know, other people's experience, but everybody that I've ever talked to, SP24 is the best thing since sliced bread and they have no idea why this might be happening. Um, could be a faulty coil, these do happen. Hopefully it's not. Um, could be the way the other machine was set up that was finding things with the stock coil that the, uh, the SP28 wasn't. But I thought, I haven't done a video comparing the two quite some time. I don't use the SP28 because I just cannot get the separation I want with it. Uh, so I thought I would come out to the park and I would do a wee video and I would show you how it hear signals differently and what the difference between the two is. Now, I have the machine set up on part two. I'm going to swing you around so you can see. So I have the machine set up on part two and there we go, that shiny, shiny again. Here we go, you can see that. Full sensitivity, which is going to be a problem in just a minute, you're going to hear. Um, and it's got nothing notched out and it is ground balanced it has the SP28 on. Now, prepare yourself when I turn this machine on. Let me just check that my microphone's in the right place so you can hear, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm going to turn this mute off. Be prepared. It's way, way, way overpowered right now, I'll just tell you that. You hear that? She's going bonkers. There is no electrical cable here. These people that say their simplex is going crazy, they don't know what to do about it. They need to turn down the sensitivity. It's just going nuts. There is no electrical cable here. There is no pulse dive. There's no other multi-frequency machines. Nothing is going on. I have changed the frequency from frequency two to frequency three because it was even worse on, on frequency two. But what we need to do is we just have to crank down this sensitivity and you're going, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm going to lose all of those signals. You can't hear them anyway because she's powered up. So, you turn it down, and you can actually detect with it. There you go, hear that? Much, much quieter. On different ground, you'd be able to have that all the way up, even with this coil. But on this ground, it's just not happening. Just way, 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 way too loud, okay? So, anyway, oh, there's one there, I missed that one. Yeah, that's a bit of an iffy signal, but we can maybe dig that one. So that one's coming in at quite deep and high 60s, little jumpy, but we'll mark it. We'll come back for that one. So the other ones that I have for you are over here. So we've got this one. Okay, that's that one. This one. Can you see the numbers? There we go, mid-70s. And where was the other one? Here we go. I don't think that's a good signal, but I have taken it as an example of just something to try with the machine. Um, got another one over here. Hear that? Screamy, 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 screamy. So these are all examples of things you can find with the stock coil in your neighborhood junkie park that drives you mad. Now, I thought I had one up here as well, yes. Is that it? It does look like I have kicked the turf, but there we go. Just picking it out. 
I may have had the sensitivity up slightly higher on this one, which you could do since there's a quite a bit of ground up here. I'm pretty sure that's a bit of aluminium can slaw, knowing this park. But look, that's, see the sensitivity's gone up. See that there? Listen, much quieter up here. Don't know why down there. It is not a cable, but it's definitely not as happy. So I'm going to switch over to the SP24. Whoa, I'm going to mute her first because I turned her back up. Uh, let's just uh, turn around. I am going to switch over to the SP24 and then I'm going to hit these same signals and then I'll dig them up and tell you what all the junk I found in my local park is. Be right back. Okay, you're going to get this in live time with me. This is the coil now swapped over. The machine is starting up. I haven't done anything differently. I haven't changed anything. All I have done is I have changed the coil. It's now in field. Sorry, you probably can't see that. So we're just going to kick it over to park to where we were before. Nothing is notched out. You can hear her if we go up to. Now, listen. First off, we're a lot quieter, which is why I've always said that I found this a much more stable coil, even though she is still too overpowered. She's still making way too much noise. Um, I did change her to frequency two. Now let's just check that that is still the case. No, sorry, changed her to frequency three. So we gotta make this fair. Get it over there to frequency three. Right, that's where we were before. Okay, so again, she's quieted down again compared to the other one. Full powered, listen to the difference. Just the signals are jumping out. Still too much, still too much power. You can hear the chirping away, but she's a lot quieter than she was before. That's part of the reason I like this coil. But let's take her down, quiet her down. Listen. Blissful silence. Now, if she, if I ground balanced her, I might even knock out some more of this, but because I didn't ground balance the other one, because I couldn't find anywhere quiet enough to actually do it, I just ran it with it as it was. Um, I'm gonna leave this one exactly the same and just run it on the 90, not ground balanced at all. So, um, that's that signal that I hadn't got before. That's it with the SP24. Absolutely no problem at all. Let's go over here. And because she's quieter, you might actually find signals you couldn't hear with the other one because it was just screaming like that one. Never found that one before. It was just screaming too much to hear anything. So here's our first one. No problem at all. That is a 91 at three bars down. This one is a, you may not be able to see it, but it's a 73 to 75 and it's four bars down. Okay, let's see what else we had over here. That one is 19, 18, 19, and it is four bars down. So we have another one over here. That one. 66, 67, one bar down, very, very shallow. I think that's the rest of that can that you'll see over there that I dug up, um, but at least we know what it is. So, and then our last one was up here. Listen, quiet, 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 listen. Yeah, that, that's the difference. So, boom, 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 where was our signal? I have lost it. Well, let's see if the machine can find it. Well, she's found one there, but there's no footmark. So where was it I kicked the turf? I don't think it was this far down. Sorry, I have lost the signal. I have lost the place that I kicked up the turf. It definitely wasn't this far down. So let's walk along and let's let the machine find it. Was it there? It was pretty obvious in the previous one. So let's just walk along. Okay, and turn around and have a look and see where we can see. I think it must be. Huh, okay. Ah, there it is. That's it. 
So she's coming in with it in super, super deep and jumpy as from the 20s to up to 50. Get it two directions. So that is the SP24 getting all of those signals and she is literally, look, that sensitivity is at half, half. And it's so quiet. I'm just gonna mark this a bit better so I can find it when I get the uh, spade. That, I could even turn her up up here. Let's put it all the way up. There you go, you can see, all the way up. Walking along. Something in there. It's not gonna be anything I want up here, I can guarantee you that. I have been over this and over this, but then we always miss things. There's always something to be found. It's never hunted out. That's a bit of, there's some nasty iron in there. That's what it is there. It's again, it's that about 20 mark, very jumpy, probably a bit of a, a, a nail or something like that. But listen, this is her fully, fully maxed out, not even ground balanced, same park too. You're quiet and stable. Yet, we're getting all the signals and we're getting all the signals on full sensitivity now compared to the other coil. We'll dig that one just for the heck of it. I'm not putting the other coil back on, um, but I'll dig that up just so you can see what it is. But my point is that this coil is more stable. Um, and uh, I mean, you hear her, she's chattering up again now because we're back down in this area. Nasty iron there, but it does work better and it's getting stuff that's just as deep as the other one but to me the signal is more quality it's better quality anyway i'm going to turn her off i'm going to dig this stuff up and then i'll turn you around and show you what we found on all of them okay my darlings are we ready for this wonderful show of the stuff that's to be found in my local park i warn you it's not nice Okay, so the very first signal, the one that we were, uh, we found just as we were happened to be walking past, was uh, down fairly deep. You can see the depth of that hole, and it's our friend the aluminium can, of which there are just millions in here. But that's a good eight, ten inches down that one. Both coils found it. The one that I found just as I happened to be walking past that I said I'm not going to put the stock coil back on to listen to, something that Plexi is very good at that multi-frequency machines ignore, which I am finding a blessing with the legend. I, I wish there was a way that the Simplex could, but even powered right down, she's finding it. And that is Chris Packets. That and Capri Sun con um, containers, awful, awful stuff. So third signal, or actually second signal, is this one here. And this is the one that was over here. And as you can see, it is a big, nasty, stonking piece of lead. Yay, or iron, actually, I think it's I mean, the weight of it, I think it's lead. It's kind of rusty looking, but I think it's lead. Anyway, signal over next to it. I put the spade in so you can see how deep down it was. I think this was reading four bars down this one, potentially, but uh, that was your round in the ground, which could have been your coin. It's a bottle cap, but both coils found it. Right, this one over here that I said to you, I thought it was the other half of that one down there at the base. And lo and behold, it is. Right, and our last signal, which was the one up here on the runway that I struggled to find because I hadn't kicked it well enough. But when I found it, the SP24 did find it. Now this one was a good ways down in that hole. Way, way, way down there, you can see, this was the one that was registering as five bars, full bars, down, deep, in the hole. Really, really quite, you know, it, it was a good signal. If you'd found this out in the wild, you'd be quite pleased because it's something that's very, very deep. Unfortunately, in this park, it is this. It is this tiny, tiny little piece of can slaw. But way down at the bottom of that hole, which... Uh, 10 inches that is down tiny little piece of something both coils found it so i'll just flip you around and uh we'll do the outro to this so that's us i don't hunt my park because it's junk 
Um, there is a wee play park over there, avoiding getting the children in the picture. Over there, we had bark on it. Uh, we did find a gold children's bracelet in that. Uh, Gavin found it. Um, he thought it was foil and nastiness and was going to chuck it. And he showed it to me and I went, uh, no, that's got a hallmark on the back. So it came in at where foil would come in because it was very thin, nine karat gold. So that was a lesson in if you don't dig the foil, you might miss some gold. But anyway, cans, cans, ball caps, a lead pipe, you know, it's junk, it's a park. Different depths, things that were barely under the surface, like that, if I can even find it with the camera, no, it can't, there it is, like that. That bit can was literally just, just under that surface right there, screaming. Um, the other bit of can was really deep. The bottle cap was deep. The lead pipe was medium. The foil packet was a couple of inches down. And then that tiny little bit of aluminium up the top was quite far down. All of these signals, both coils found. I don't have anything that I've been able to find just in this little section and because there are children about I can't really go anywhere else in the park to show you the difference, the discrimination between one to the other. And that is something on my other videos you will see where I show you the sound of something next to something else. I think it's actually it's one of my very first videos and that might even be the SP28. Um, but the SP24 because of the way it's shaped can actually separate them out better than the SP28, which is the stock coil. It's all about being able to get enough of a nip on something that you can hear it's two different things. And with a really big coil, yes, you're going to get deep, but you are going to find it more difficult to hear the two signals. You will need to have your sensitivity lessened because you, you don't want to look as deep because you need your recovery faster to tell that there's two things there. And that recovery being faster, it does mean that you don't see as deep. So, you know, your, your, your parks one and two, you know, as we've discussed in previous videos, your recovery speed is faster, but they don't see as deep as field. Now that's park two, that is the shallowest mode she's got. That is with the SP24 and the stock coil on it. You hear all these signals clear as day. Hearing two things next to each other, I will have to try and find a signal that I can then, you know, do with the two coils and show you. But that's, that's my take on it. I wanted to see if there was a difference between the two coils. I brought them out. For my own self, I have reinforced that the SP24 is more stable and the SP24, because it's more stable, you can turn the sensitivity up a little bit more and you can hear things you can't with the bigger coil, especially, especially, especially in noisy areas, which this park is, it is full of trash. And having the big coil in a trashy area, you just can't get the bite on the individual signals. The SP24 can get in those nooks and crannies. You're not going to lose anything. If your signal is good and the coil is good, which I'm starting to wonder if that coil is okay that this chap has, you shouldn't be having a situation where an SP28 is gonna come along and find coins at three inches deep that an SP24 misses. That just should not happen. Something's not right there. And to me, you know, it, it's, the coil because he's described everything as being equivalent um that sp24 as you've seen and what we've just shown you should have easily seen those coins should have seen those coins next to the aluminium and separated them out even better than the sp28 did so anyway any comments you've got baz if you're watching this please give me more feedback about exactly what's going on but i would consider if you've only just bought that coil and you've bought it new that you contact um, LP is the warranty people and just say this coil is not performing the way that everybody else's is or give it to somebody that has an SP24 to put on their machine and see if they think it's the same. If they think there's something wrong then you'll know. If they say it's absolutely fine then come back to me and we'll look at something else and we'll try to figure out what's going on for you. But anyway hope that's helpful. Hope you're all having a lovely day and finding all those hordes out there that I'm not because I'm stuck in the park making a video for you guys. But that's how much I love you. So take care, happy hunting, and I'll see you on the next one.